Hello, my name is Ryan Butler, and my topic for my TED Talk is Times They Are a Changing. Today, I will speak on the falling away from religion that has been occurring at a rapid pace recently all around the world. I also wanted to focus on understanding the times from a biblical standpoint. Now, I understand that not everyone here is religious, but with some of the events taking place right now in the world, like COVID-19, I wanted to take a look at prophecy at the biblical level, especially as the coronavirus continues to run rampant. Okay, so the Bible is full of end times prophecy, but a lot of it is either extremely confusing or figurative. While this is true, there are a few signs that are explicitly stated multiple times. We can find some signs of the end laid out in the book of Matthew, chapter 24 in the Bible. Matthew 24 references a great apostasy meaning a great falling away from God, as one of the first signs that the end is near. Now, it might not be noticeable for all, but the number of people going to church and classifying as religious has dropped drastically all around the globe. Let's take a look at some of these graphics here. This first graphic shows us a picture of what's happening in the U.S. in just the last 30 years. Like it says in the graphic, people just aren't nearly as religious these days. The number of Americans that classify as non-religious has nearly quadrupled in just the last 30 years. And the percentage here is only growing. Now the causes of this are debatable and a whole other conversation, but I think much of it comes down to increased social reform and liberal teaching from an early age on, but that's for another time. Next, let's look at Europe. Yes, all of Europe is decreasing at the same, at the same rate as the US, but this graphic focuses on something a little bit different. Here we see the population of people that actually actively attend church compared to the number of people who claim to be Christian. Now this shows that on average, about one in every 100 people in Europe is attending church regularly. I hope this surprises you as much as it does me. It's crazy to think that for so many people claiming to be Christian here, so few are actually active in their faith. Lastly, let's look at this picture of Canada. Now this is just the same content that we've already seen. A drastic drop off over the last 60 years or so in weekly religious service attendance. It goes all the way from near 70% of people attending church in 1946 to below 10% in 2015. Absolutely astounding. Now all of this goes to show this could be the great apostasy that's discussed in the Bible. This rapid decline has occurred within just the last 50 years. Now, there are also so-called birth pains or labor pains referenced in chapter 24 of Matthew and chapter 5 of First Thessalonians in the Bible. A specific verse says this, For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Right now in the world, natural disasters are more frequent and serious than ever before. There are many wars happening all around the globe. There are also humanitarian crises with refugees in Europe and the Middle East and even here in the U.S. The point I'm trying to make is that the coronavirus could be one of these birth pains and a sign that the end is coming soon. But the question is, do I really think the world is ending? I truly can't say, as it's all in God's timing. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. This means that many people will, will be caught off guard. One thing I do know, though, is that the Bible also teaches us to remain vigilant and pay attention to what is happening in the world, like the coronavirus, as well as to live with urgency as if the time of the end were near. This is really why I wanted to talk about this today. The Bible teaches us to place our hope in Jesus during the end times and trust in his word so we can be saved. There are many more signs of the end written in other books of the Bible, like a one-world religion or the mark of the Antichrist, and these things could come to fruition in the near future, so watch out. We can never be sure of exactly when the end is coming. If you are interested in learning anything more about the end times from a biblical standpoint, because we barely scratched the surface today, feel free to reach me on my email or social media. Thank you.